Hi everyone, warm welcome back. My name is Josephine, if this is your first time joining this program. Uh, tonight I'm very happy to share uh, some Bollywood style dancing with you guys and finally I got the chance to correct the title of this book. I've been thinking about it for years. <laughs> Sorry Vesso, but the Bollywood keeps the score or the Bollywood body keeps the score. So I'm teaching this Indian form of dancing uh, in a high security prison for women weekly normally when it's not a pandemic going on. And it's turned out to be that this shows a massive therapeutic potential. Um, and this form of dancing is really expressive, it's really theatrical and it comes from the Indian movies. Uh, there's like a multitude of movies coming out every year in India and for example in the middle of a bank robbery all of a sudden they kind of start to dance as you do on your own <laughs> basically when no one is watching you and you can look as silly as you like and there is a lot of drama and you exaggerate all emotions into huge big body language so it's kind of allowing you to express yourself in in kind of a different role and especially inside these environments as a prison there can be that you're kind of armoring yourself behind a really tough surface so i've seen so many women entering these classes with like these big tough attitudes and all of a sudden they like they're playing around and having fun with the others in the group so it's kind of equalizing these power dynamics that are so specific for these environments so uh, it's been a creative process and we've been using creative movement inside of these programs in a combination with mindfulness based uh, trauma informed yoga and also relaxation meditation and breathing practices together with dancing and every class has a content with a choreography also for the cognitive side of this so you're memorizing dance steps, uh, you're mirroring someone else, you're being creative yourself. Um, and also the rhythmical kind of connection in the group has a huge potential. And also this um, kind of feeling, this empowerment in the group has also provided a higher sense of belonging and also empathy in between the participants. Like if someone is not catching the steps, the others in the groups, they are actually practicing in the evenings so they can catch up until the next time. Um, they've been feeling a reduction of anxiety, less depression. They also sleep better during these weeks. And also the guards are really feeling like there is a difference in the prison when we have these programs going on. And we have a summer's intensive and at the end of that we also perform for the rest of the prison and then the prison guard has this turbans on. It's like a crazy movie. But you know, at the end of the day, who do we want to re-enter society? We do want rehabilitated people and working with complex trauma, I feel that this is a huge, huge uh, point for the prisons internationally to take to work with these kind of combinations. So you guys maybe are researchers watching this, please. This would be really cool to research because here we do see really fast results, okay? Um, but tonight, okay, you will share a few practices that the women has also created like a weekly movement-based diary on their own, like a homework where they wake up and they do like a check-in, what kind of emotions am I carrying today? Can I translate that into first a frozen body language and can I then release it and move it around? Do I want to enhance this feeling or do I want to let it go and move it, move it in different directions? And at the end of the day, they have like this one signature move a day. At the end of the week, they have like a signature choreography that they are individualizing and memorizing and some of these steps are in this choreography as well so we're really excited to invite you to explore how does it feel to move like this in a bollywood style way <laughs> okay so let's see i'm gonna get the music going cool 
Cool. So basically you will mirror me and then we will bring some of the steps. First one is a warm up with large movements. Please take care of yourself. We will increase the pulse quite a lot. In between the songs, we will kind of pull the brake, as we're saying in the prison, learning how to slow down the heartbeat. And they have learned about the mighty vagus nerve, we call it, to have the ability to cool yourself down when you're starting to feel a raise in the heartbeat. That can be really beneficial. So, okay, first warm up song.
following the heartbeat. Maybe exhaling really long. You can exhale to your mouth if you want. Feeling your both feet connected to the floor. And noticing that the heartbeat can come up from both dancing and having fun together as well as other things when we're feeling stressed or anxious, but here we're raising our heartbeats when we're moving and that's a natural response. And by exhaling longer now, slowing down the heartbeat a little bit. Great, so you can see there's a lot of this strong body language and kind of brushing something off and then going on with your day. It's like you're throwing away something that you're really tired of, going back to your own strong self into a movement. And this is, of course, towards the guards. <laughs> okay, so next song, we will add a few steps. And again, remember, this is also recorded so you can come back. I'm throwing us into the deep end here so you will have like a little library of movements that you can play around with. And next time you're able to maybe go out into society again with your friends, you can use maybe some of these dance steps when you're going to a party or something. Um, but the whole thing here is um, also like to discharge all of this kind of anxiety that you might be holding that right now if you've been in a lockdown for a long time. So move as much as you can or as little as you can. And if you don't catch all the steps, that's perfectly fine. That's how it's supposed to be in this dancing. And if you like some steps more than others, then go ahead and just continue those steps. So please feel free to explore whatever you like to this music, basically. Okay, we're gonna add some steps and I'm gonna show you them without music before we go forward. So look at this, one, two, three, four. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. And it's like you're pushing something forward. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it's like you're kind of pumping up some energy <laughs> with your arms and your legs. And here you can go, really go for it. <laughs> okay, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Brilliant. Okay, we're gonna add from this, and this looks like this. Brush something, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Throw th something over your head, one, two, ah, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and mm, mm, seven, eight. Perfect, then comes this, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and five. Good. So you're counting a bit, memorizing some steps, and we will do this in a slow pace to the next song, adding, adding, adding. Great.
<laughs> okay, amazing. Oh, you're in your heartbeat a little bit. Getting in touch with your feet against the floor. So this was a little tryout into some of the dance steps we've been creating together. Using a lot of facial expressions as well to get that ventral vagus going and social engagement systems. And until next week, maybe once in a while, if you like, you can come back to maybe this video and do some of the dance steps or maybe in your own time, put on some music that you really like and see if you can kind of move as large as you can to create some heat in your body and get the pulse up. Or as I said, maybe come back to these two songs and repeat the steps. And if you do that next time, maybe eventually when the world is opening up again, we can have this dance experience in <laughs> life together. Or if you're ever going to India, you will have some of the basic steps from Bollywood style dancing, and you will be invited to all the parties in India, basically. <laughs> So no language needed, and that's the beauty of this. We don't, we communicate from here, we communicate with movement and our bodies, where I feel that words are almost unnecessary because we are sharing this experience basically here and now without any fear or judgment. Okay, so thank you so much.